In immersive engineering, we can use the thermoelectric generator to use cold and hot substances on either side to make power. And as you can see, I've used three here, but imagine how many of these you could set up in a huge energy farm. And it still can be fairly early game. If you look in the engineer's manual, it does actually tell you under power wires and generators, thermoelectric generator, what you can use. Blue ice being the coldest and uranium being the hottest. But you can either use ice or just water and lava. That's probably the two simplest things to use. The greater the difference between the two heats, the more power it's going to make. Meaning uranium and blue ice would be the best to use. Whereas if you use snow and lava, it wouldn't be too bad. And if you use just water and magma, it would be you know very, very similar um, and wouldn't make much power at all. So what we do is we just place it down. As you can see, it's very basic looking and we can put, you know, three of them like we did before. And then on one side, I'm going to put uranium and on the other side, I'll put blue ice. Now, even though it doesn't look like there's any power in there, as soon as I take an LV wire connector, you can see that power is building up very quickly within there. And all we need to do is either put an accumulator with a wire connector and some LV coil, etc., and there we go. We are putting uh, electricity into the battery. You can set many of these up like I have here. Mine's going to a relay and then into a battery, which would obviously fill up a lot quicker. But that is the thermoelectric generator for immersive engineering.